Hey everybody! Well today we're going to take a look at another one of these cool metal models from Teching. Now I got this from Sterling Kit and uh, they sell a lot of these metal kits which are really cool. They were out of stock on this for the longest time. I ordered this two and a half months ago and I just got it in now um, on June 30th of 2022. So uh, hopefully they're back in stock now but it did take me a while to get it. Now this is a really cool kit. It's all metal. And it's actually a dragonfly that sits in the middle here and by turning this geared uh, ring and it's actually motorized I did not know it was motorized for some reason I thought it was like a hand turned hand cranked thing but it is battery operated and the wings on the uh, dragonfly here will just kind of flap like a real dragonfly on the back here just has some uh, well most of it is in I guess it's Chinese here but it also has English and it just talks about the kit itself and to, uh, to be careful with it, not get your fingers caught in the gears and stuff like that. Now on the top here, it says that there's a golden wings version and there's also the uh, blue wings. Now I ordered the blue wing version because it looks really cool and I hope that's what I got because it doesn't show that that's what's inside the box but hopefully that's what it'll be. But these, um, these teching kits are pretty cool. I made that really cool metal robot that was remote controlled. I did a video on that. You can check that out if you'd like. I was really happy with that kit and it was really fun to build. I liked it so much I ended up buying two of them. All right, well, let's take a look inside this thing because I want to see what it looks like. All right, so let's take a look inside. I have not had a chance to see inside of this yet. And okay, ooh, nice, nice. All right, so of course we got the instructions here on how to build this. I hope this isn't too technical. Uh, I think it'll be less, oh look at that. I think it'll be less technical, well I'm saying that now because I haven't built it yet, but uh, than the robot was. That's really cool. You can see the wings of the uh, um, dragonfly being put together. It looks like they're hinged. All kinds of really cool things. These parts are usually very tiny, very small. Got a lot of very tiny screws on here, so these kits can be a bit fiddly to put together. Um, but hopefully this one won't be too bad. So yeah, we'll take it. Oh, and they also have the uh, legend back here for all the parts. All right. Ooh, look at that. God, these things are always amazing. I'm always a, very impressed with these parts. Look how beautiful this is. So these are all metal. That's the arm. That looks like the uh, tail of the dragonfly right there. Look how nice that looks. Hopefully I can get that on camera really good. Um, these are already on here, which is interesting. I thought that was... Oh, maybe they are separate. I don't know. There's probably a second level of stuff going on here. Um, not sure how all of this comes out. Oh, here we go. Let's see what's underneath here. Oh, wow. Okay, so there's some more stuff. Look at that. This is probably the uh, motor right here. Oh, no, it's just a housing that's in there. Look how nice everything's packaged. I mean, it's really premium, premium stuff. That's the battery. So this is rechargeable, I guess, huh? Interesting. I did not know that. I thought it was like, uh, um, I thought it would be like double A's or triple A's or something. Very nice. That's the uh, arm. These are always nice. They're uh, tools, or I should say they're, uh, the screws and all that are always in these very nicely done containers. You can see they're all numbered and labeled on in their own compartment. And you can see how all of this stuff is done. Look at all that. Ooh, there's some oil right there. That's really cool. Very, very nice. Yeah, these are always really well done. Oh, good. Very good. Here's the wings. Look how beautiful those are. Look at the color on that. I'm glad they were the blue ones. I wasn't sure I got the right ones. These look like they're very... Uh, Probably kind of thin. God, those look really nice. I mean, these are really nicely done things. Here's the motor right here. There's a power cable for uh, charging right there. So very nice. Looks similar to the robot one. All right. Yeah, I think that's uh, the only part. I don't think there's anything underneath this. I think that's all of it. Let me double check here. Uh, yeah, there's nothing underneath. Okay, very cool. Well, let's uh, get started on this. I don't want to take anything out because... They're all numbered, and I don't want to accidentally get something mixed up, especially when it comes to the really tiny stuff. All right, well, I'll get started now. All right, so I have spent the last couple of hours putting this together. Um, this 
looks really cool, but man, is it fiddly to put together. It's one of those situations where you're holding two or three things at the same time you're trying to screw those three things in. And uh, if I can focus on it, and yeah, it's just crazy. I mean, there's some really tiny screws in there. See those things? They're really small, and you really have to kind of pay attention to where everything goes. And then I screwed up and put one of these wings on backwards, of course. <laughs> and there's the head of it. The tail looks really good here. So yeah, there's a lot of... Uh, these screws were really, really small. But hopefully, everything's going to work out all right. All right, I think we're going to start working on the rest of it now. Okay, so I've got the entire ring section done here, and um, this actually went together pretty quick. There's a lot of bearings in here. The motor, um, some of these screws, I will say, let's see, I, they weren't very good. Like this one here, I had a couple where they were, I don't know if I can focus in on this, but the, the, uh, the little hex hole wasn't molded right where it was actually just uh, I mean I couldn't even get the hex nut to even turn on it it was like it was just a round hole so I had a couple of screws like that so maybe a little bit of quality control issues there on this but um, only a couple of them that I've found so far here's another bearing up here so that's where the uh, dragonfly is going to get connected with this piece right here oh I should show you also there here's the motor back here and it's got a nice little cover on it very cool and then uh, this part here was pretty cool and this is the whole gear mechanism that you can see right here I'll have to put some oil in those uh, to make sure they uh, turn nicely and in those as well but yeah it's a pretty cool mechanism so yeah I'm, I'm actually really liking this it's going together pretty nice alright so just finishing up now I just wanted to show you what the bottom looks like because it's going to get all covered up the circuit board is all plug and play which is great they tell you where everything goes in there you're going to have to smush these wires down for the um, this power switch to get the cover on here. And also I didn't like that this bar was pushing so hard against the battery. So I put uh, I had some extra hardware and there was I put a nut on the, the bottom right there and on that side as a spacer to raise that bar up a little bit. So that way it's not pushing on the battery so much. But anyway, it should be ready to go. So I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. All right, here it is now all complete. And this was a fun build. It was a fun thing to build. I will say that um, mine isn't perfect. I'm not sure what is wrong with mine. <laughs> uh, I can't quite figure it out, but I'll turn it on here in just a second. But I think somewhere the uh, this outer gold ring here, it somehow, you'll see it, it, it moves up and down. And it kind of rides a little bit. So, and I'm not sure what's causing it. So sometimes the gear that's in here will kind of uh, come dislodged and I have to kind of push it or, or kind of move it a little bit. And also I was looking online and mine looks a little different and I'll show you what I mean. There's a few things that are different on mine. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the details on here. Now I showed you the dragonfly earlier, but this is a really nice looking dragonfly. The way the whole thing is done, it looks pretty real as far as like you know, a mechanical one, I guess. <laughs> but you can see how this whole thing is. It is kind of a, um, I don't know, it's, as I was building it, I was just thinking to myself, there's just an awful lot of gears in this thing. And I think to myself, maybe there might have been an easier way for them to do this, but I don't know, maybe it's just the way it is because of the whole aesthetic of the whole thing. I mean, look how cool that looks. Now, the one of the things that I thought was kind of, weird well actually here let me turn it on first here's the power button so let me turn it on it's got a very quiet motor and here we can see the dragonfly is flapping his wings now as I mentioned um, this is really cool actually now as I mentioned now see it got it gets stuck occasionally now if you watch this right here this is the gold see how it's making that click sound so I have to kind of push it and you'll see how the, um, the gold ring kind of moves up and down a little bit. Kind of see it right there. And I'm not sure what's causing it. Somehow I think it either, so the, the, uh, the gear that's right inside there turning, sometimes it comes, to, see right there, it gets dislodged and I have to kind of push on it. And it gets it going again. And I'm not really sure what's causing it. I have tried everything. I've 
loosened these things, I've tightened them, and then I was trying to think if it was the dragonfly itself because I was noticing on mine it's a little bit different. Right down here, that spring is what gives it the tension to make the wings go up and down like that. But my spring on mine is, um, a, it's like a, a more tighter spring. Uh, the other springs I've seen don't have all those uh, rings on there. It, it's like, uh, it's almost too tight. I was going to actually see if I could take it out of there and maybe cut, cut off a couple of rings of it. But I'm not sure if I should mess with it or not. Another thing is the dragonfly actually looks like it's angled downward more than some of the other ones I've seen. And the other thing that's different is this little, I don't know what you call it, that black thing right there is what makes the, uh, it's what pushes, now see it just got stuck again. Okay, there we go. So now that little black thing right there is what raises and lowers the wings right there. And the other ones I've seen, it's just an oval shaped one. Mine's kind of an oddball shaped one. And I'm not really sure I like the way that works. I'd almost prefer it to be just an oval one. I don't know if this is an older kit and that's the old parts and it's a different spring or if it's a newer kit and they decided to go with this route but I'm kind of wondering if this is an older kit because the other ones don't seem like they have as many problems as mine does. It's very strange. And then I've tried loosening these here because I think maybe that was too tight because you, you can see that the gold ring is dragging against the silver. I have oiled the heck out of this thing. You can see some oil right there. I've tried to put oil between the gold and the silver rings. I put oil on all these working gears and I've also put, uh, see it starts to do that and then it sometimes it gets stuck, sometimes it doesn't. Let's see what it's doing here. Ah, uh, there it goes. Alright, then I just kind of get a, give it a push and it's back to normal. I've oiled those down there. I've kind of loosened this and then I tightened it again. There's a lot of, there's a lot of gear action going on in here. So I'm not really sure what's going on. It's what it's, what it is is that the, uh, the gold ring isn't staying even with the, the silver one. And it's mainly on this side. So yeah, I'm not sure what it is. I, like I said, it's not perfect. I mean, it went together really good. The hardest part was this dragonfly. There was a lot going on here. I kind of found it kind of difficult to put that together when you're trying to hold everything and then screw it all together. But, I mean, it still works. It, it works really good. I, it looks really fantastic. So overall, I'm actually pretty satisfied with this. I mean, I do believe I have an older version of this kit though because I think they changed some of the things on here to make this work smoother. I do think that spring has got too much tension on it. The other ones I've seen definitely has not that much tension on it because even pushing on it, it's kind of hard. I figure for me to push, well, I mean, it's not hard, but for a little motor that's down in there, you know, it just puts more of a drag on everything since this whole thing has got to go around. And also that black uh, rotor piece right there, I think is kind of an odd shape. I think it would be better to have that oval one, but this is a really cool kit. Now, as I mentioned, I think I mentioned it anyway, it's $150 from the Sterling Kit website. I got it for $100 because when you buy stuff from them, they always give you some nice promo codes for discounts and stuff like that. And I think I got the $50 off from buying that other robot or something. And they, they email you almost every day to give you other promotions. They got all kinds of really cool kits on there, all metal, uh, mostly motors and stuff. But I'm hoping they come out with more stuff like this because I'm more interested in stuff like this. And this is not one of the more complicated ones, which is nice. You don't have to pull your hair out <laughs> trying to build some of this stuff. But uh, overall, I think it's a pretty cool. That's where you charge it. And I'm not really sure how long it takes to charge this either. There's no light indicator to let you know that it's charging or if it's full. I kind of wish they did have that. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I think it's neat. Kind of peaceful to watch, actually. All right, well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. I'll put a link down in the description below if you want to go check out one of these. And in the meantime, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you on the next video, and have a good one.